Hey guys, well we just picked our new Samsung 60 inch plasma 3D TV today. We just had it delivered to the house and we had to have it delivered obviously because of the size of this box. First of all I want to show you how big the box is in case you're planning on putting it in your SUV. It's not likely to fit so I'm just going to give you an idea of the dimensions. The height of the box the TV is in is exactly 37 and 3 quarter inches or just say 38 inches. The depth of this box is exactly 16 inches. Actually 16 and a half inches. You might say 17. And the width of the box the TV is in uh, 59 inches. Say 59 and a quarter. Now Unless the base of your um, SUV is 38 inches wide, you're not going to get it in. And if you try to put it on an angle to go in, remember, 16 inches deep. It's going to be hard to scan that in. If you have an SUV that will do that, let me know what it is. Anyway, this is a smart TV from Samsung. Uh, it's 3D, of course. Um, real black. I'll share it wireless built in, which is good because I don't want to buy the adapter. And I have lots of um, wireless signal down here in the, in the rec room. And um, the 60 inch class, like I said, is a 60E550. And it comes with two pair of active 3D glasses. The TV we're replacing uh, down here is the old one that nobody wanted in the house. They threw it out and we took it. We've been using that to make videos and it looks kind of crappy. So I'm just going to mount. The new plasma on top of uh, this old record player and see how she looks. Now we just came from the store and we had the screen inspected before we bought it so we looked inside so I want to show you how to get this out. First remove those straps. As you can see it's well packed. Uh, most of the box is actually styrofoam to protect the screen. Heavy heavy thick on the styrofoam. Could be to break the screen. I dropped the stand at home, sir. I don't know what that's for. Hmm, so far so good. Okay, I removed the styrofoam, and you can see it's uh, one of the, the newer plasma screens. It's only uh, about an inch and a half, two inches thick. Well, probably three. And it's well packed. Okay, I moved that old TV out of the way, and now we have a spot for the big plasma. And this is our rec room, so we have um, a nice couch set up here. And. Of course, the Wii and everything else that goes in that. The stand came in two pieces. The first part of the stand mounts over the base of the heavy part. The plastic part here is what fits under the TV. And it just fits on and holds in place with four Phillips screws. Now I have to get a, um, a blanket to put on the floor to lay the TV on so I can get the stand mounted to it. Okay, I just used a blanket to lay the screen face down on and made sure nothing was touching it and mounted the four screws on the back that hold the base onto the screen very carefully not to touch the front screen of course at all because it's liquid crystal I mean it's plasma so you don't want to touch that plastic anywhere Well, we got the TV mounted on the stand. Now it's just a matter of sliding into place in the slot. But somebody here. We have a visitor. Yo, she's back. No time. Hey, Where's he at? Get his face. Yoshi. Hi, Yoshi. Hi. Yeah, we're gonna do some Yoshi stuff too. I wanna play the Wii after this. Well, I hope so. Well, this is the Samsung remote that came with the uh, the TV. It came with two batteries. 
and now I just um, slid the TV into the slot that we plan on using it and I'm going to fire it up for the first time. Here it goes. Zoom in on the screen. The red light's on the bottom of the screen, so there the red light went off. Screen flicked. Smart TV. Let's see how smart it really is. I'm going to flick on the receiver and see what happens. First time on, guys. I'm going to flick off my big bright light here. Smart TV, here she comes. Perfect. I'm going to go through the setup. Enter. English, of course. Next. Home use. Next. The next step is a wireless. Of course, I have a wireless network down here. Next. Searching router. And there's my strongest signal right here extended it's got my uh, extended uh, net extender okay I'll put my password in one second okay passwords entered very simple hit the next button I use 10 digits and searching checking okay you are now connected to the internet if you have any problems using our services please contact the internet service provider which I don't because I have it everywhere next step checking your TV software version of shorts going out software updates are you sure I want to do that now uh, I better just in case update now this will take a while so I'll come back to you only have another 53 seconds to go to download the updates to the software but in the meantime while I had some time I took the 3d glasses out of their box and assembled them there wasn't much to it actually um, the arms come out the package is one for each side and they're keyed you can only put one on each side and um, the button to turn them on is right here the tiny button the button to turn them on is right here on top hold it down for about a second or so and it comes on and locks in and once it's on it's on okay now my TV just uh, finished updating the software so I was gonna come up again and go for the next step I think I'm at step five now Okay, let's find out and store channels on your TV. I don't need to do that. Okay, skip to the next step because I'm using a cable box, satellite TV. I'm going to switch to a channel I know anyway. And then I'll go to the next step. Okay, set current date and time. One second. Well, it was very easy to do. 6.03 p.m. November 28, 2012. Hit the next button. Let's see where we go next. Congratulations, your smart TV is set up and ready to go. English language home use, complete network setup, and close. Eco sensor is on. TV brightness will change automatically as your room changes. Okay. Weak or no signal. Okay, I have to check the inputs. The source is actually component video, so I'm going down to the component. Whoops. Try that again. Source is actually component. Enter. Well, the TV is hooked up, installed, and ready to go. We've been playing the Wii on it for the last night. I, mean, I watched the TV last night till midnight. It's unbelievably awesome picture. I, I can't explain it. Um, I tried 3D with the uh, glasses, with just simulated 3D, and even that was really good. Uh, I'm going to hook up the, um, the 3D Blu-ray player in a few minutes and see how that works out. There's only one little glitch that I have with this thing. It's not the TV's fault, it's my own fault. I have an old-style satellite receiver which uses um, composite video out, red, green, blue with audio jacks. And the Wii also uses composite video, the yellow, red, and the white. Red, red for audio and white for audio. And the problem is there's only one set of composite video jacks in the back. So in order for me to watch TV, or watch the Wii, I have to literally go behind the TV and unplug the wires. So I have to work on that now until I get uh, satisfied 100% with my setup here in the basement in the rec room.
Well, the jury's in on the uh, review of the new Samsung 3D Plasma 60-inch. We love it. We've been watching movies here in 3D with the new active glasses. <clears throat> it's where the things are coming out of the screen. Um, we have the new 3D Blu-ray player from Samsung that worked well beyond expectations. It locked in to the signal perfectly. I was able to set it up within seconds, well, minutes, actually. Uh, the Wii uh, works beautiful on it. Uh, we're hopefully getting a new Wii U for Christmas, which will eliminate the need for the use of those composite video jacks since it has a, uh, um, a high def output. And our satellite receiver, we ordered a new one of them yesterday. That should be here soon. That'll uh, plug directly into the high def box, high definition um, HDMI jack in the back. So we're really pleased with this. This is a nice size screen for down here. It's great for watching sports and um, for playing the video games on. So I hope you liked the review. And if you get the TV, send us a comment and let us know what you think. If you need any more information, please ask in the comment section. Thanks very much.